Hey drone here, T16S from Radio Master. This is huge. I've been waiting for this for some time, but because of what's going on in the world, my Radio Master T16S took like two months to get to me. Look, this is a hard box. I don't, yes, I can open it with one hand. This is a hard molded box. This thing is actually going to protect your dr your drone controller, your RC controller, whatever you want to hook to this, it's going to protect it. It is not shakable. Your, your, your controller is not going to bounce around in here. This is actually really well molded for this. You can see our antenna stays on, unlike the past ones where you had to take it off. Um, this is molded really nice to this. Bamzo, check it out, check it out, check it out. Focus. J Drone. It says J Drone already. The company hooked me up with this controller and they got little J Drone decals. Huge. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get this turned on for y'all. We're going to leave it in the case. Then we'll take it out of the case and then we'll show you the complete profile. The battery bay is huge on this. Um, you do also have a charging port up top. Again, we'll take it out then, but let's go ahead and turn it on. Throttle warning. Put it down, that goes away. So we'll go ahead and zoom out, maybe. So we have buttons. This roller is 300% improved from the jumper. Um, and again, this isn't jumper, this is Radio Master. But there was issues with the jumper's roller. This one, I can feel it. I can feel the difference. Pressing in, I can feel it as I pressed it in. You can see model select. We could then click there and we could then long hold and we could create a new model if you want to go ahead and return back you can see these are labeled really nicely return page right page left telemetry so we are just going to hold and hold to get back um up here let's see which one's this that's system if you hold system you can go into crossfire configuration you can see other things here then we can go over to our page and page you can set all this stuff and page just showing you what is going on here um and again you can see open t 16s radio master um 2020 of april 28th and whatnot uh ops crossfire etc we're gonna go ahead and hit our return button the way that you get into setting up and i'm going to show you all the protocols uh and what you can see here you can see battery you can see the battery voltage there uh and you can see the date which is incorrect which i'll need to set let's go ahead and hold this one which this one despite the fact that labeled j drone um model hold your model this will get into what you're normally used to and I'm going to go ahead and show you all the protocols because I know that is a, a huge thing for some people. So the first one is this one. Then we go into Bang. Bang R, which I don't know what that is. Maybe that's for the red um, red, uh, red boards. I don't know. Um, we have bugs. And we don't have a sub protocol for the bugs. So hopefully the 3H will still bind to that. We have bugs 3 mini or maybe it's actually in this one. There's the 3H. We're getting ahead of ourselves there. Um, and that's all there is, is just those two. So we're going to keep scrolling here. Just going to show you some stuff. What? Ah! No. Really? Did I? All right, there we go. All right, so now we're getting into kind of what I wanted to show you. Fly Scott. FSKY 2A. FS 2A, fly zone, fry sky RX. Then we can go over here, clone TX or RX. I'm gonna go back over here, fry sky, fry sky X2, and you can see D16 over here, D16 A channel, LBT, LBT 8 channel, D16 cloned. And we'll go ahead and go back. Fry Sky L. There's a lot of Fry Skies in here. So for a lot of the people that were worried about being able to bind to certain receivers, you should be able to do with this. As you can see, it does do an automatic binding like it's doing there with certain ones. 
Um, we're just going to go ahead and scroll through these now. Again, just to show you guys what's in here. There's one i never seen before, even on an upgraded uh, module. That one, I don't know what that is. Pelican. But Potensic, that's cool that the A20 is in there. That binds to a couple different things. But this one, Propel. I've never seen a Propel protocol on any of them. Um, Q2x2, 303. Red Pine, I have no clue what that is. We're just going to keep going here. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, Tiger, Tiger. Hmm, I have a Tiger drone. It's actually an X6 uh, Trancho clone. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do Traxxas. We actually have a complete Traxxas protocol that is not incomplete and this is for the receiver you could get traxxas receivers um and you can bind to them now so you could run your remote control cars or if you have a traxxas receiver on uh, one of your drones you could definitely do that as well um v2 by two i'm just trying to see w fly if there's anything else worthy of noting in here and there's not. So we're just going to go back. And now I'm going to... Um, that's not back. That's model. Uh, <laughs> let's let's see. Let's go back, which is return. Back. And here, we'll just page through this with our page. And oh, you want page backwards? What? We can page backwards. There was one of them where you couldn't page backwards. And you had to go all the way through it. And it just made me mad. Look, we can page backwards, which is huge. But we're going to go ahead and return out of here. Um, I'm going to show you the profile now. Right, so this is a profile. It looks super sweet. The colorway they decided to go to, I'm loving it. They uh, have metal sticks on this already. And again, everything's labeled really clearly. You can see J drone there. I would assume that is normally going to say system, just as well as this says J drone. And I assume that is normally going to say model. If the, again, the roller is updated. You now up here... If I can show you, you have means to actually charge and data. I think that's the charging port. I could be wrong. Here, what's under here? Could be wrong, guys. This just came in today. I haven't spent too much time with it. Um, no, there's your charging port right there. So don't charge from the top. Oh my gosh, an accessible SD slot. Look at that. You don't got to rip apart the controller. You don't got to try to fuss with anything. That's pretty huge. Um, pretty huge, man. I'm definitely stoked about this. So as we flip it around, I got the battery casing off. They do have a warning. So if you don't read the warning and you put too high a voltage in this, um, that's on you. It says 2 uh, times 3.7 lie on, which would go in that. That is already in the controller when you get it. And you would put your lie on batteries in there. You would plug it in by, by the balance lead there. Um, try to focus. Maybe it won't focus. It's not focusing. Um just to show you they also gave you a little keychain here which is pretty cool and they give you a charger again to go into that charge port what i said in the beginning of the video this is huge here we'll try to try to get this here that is a big battery bay you can put a chunky two cell in there um and run this thing probably forever your project box is typical of what we've seen on the back uh, i believe they were labeled jr bays and that is what you're going to plug in your crossfire to if you decide to use crossfire um really nice grips on the back of this extremely nice grips on the back of this they actually have some size and they're not just like dude, dude look I don't know how well you can see that, how high they stick up, but it's actually something to hold on to as opposed to like itty bitty mini grips that look good and kind of don't do anything. Um, and then you also have a grip on the side here. I assume if you had to take this apart, which I don't foresee anybody having to take this apart, it's going to be popping these grips off, taking off a couple of screws and done. The reason I say I don't foresee you having to do this is because this company, Radio Master, that should be the that should be the thing, Radio Master. Um, I know they they have said they are not willing to compromise their brand um, by uh, quality control issues. So hopefully we don't see any quality control issues, and uh, hopefully we have a quality build radio from Radio Master. <laughs> this was the T sixteen from Radio Master. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button, questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. Later.